This is a much better setup. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't do this earlier. I mean, don't look at me. Hey, bud. How's it going? If you're new to the channel, then welcome. Take a seat. And if you're coming back, Joe, I said to start a laundry business. Not a laundering business. Welcome back to another movie reaction. My name is Sam. Steph. I'm we're the movie, movie buds. Ella Enchanted. I didn't even know about this until it came up in the comments. Right. No, I knew about it. I'd just never seen it. But Anne Hathaway, yeah. probably going to be good. Yeah. And I mean, I figured there's a whole lot of Cinderella adaptations to get through. Yeah. And this is up there as far as I can tell with one of the better ones. Is it a proper Cinderella adaptation or is it just like kind of inspired by Cinderella? From what I can tell, it's like it's its own thing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Fairy tales tell stories of magic. Did you see the unicorn up there? No. And inanimate objects that speak for themselves. But I do love this opening shot. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck it, man. Let's give that CGI budget a run for its money. Yeah. Now they've done quite good here. Got your name on the building and everything, sure. There's romance and danger. There's good guys, bad guys, and some guys in between. <laughs> Ugly guys? Just guys. A fairy tale also reveals some sort of truth. But our story today is different okay. in theme. Fair enough. Our hero had no choice. Looking right through the window. It starts with a fairy bestowing a spell. Or a Ella. Of frail. Oh, little potato. <laughs> now, now, Ella, mother's here. Oh! <laughs> Ogre Wrangler. Abacus programmer. Up. Come on, all the way. Lazy magic. <laughs> oh, sassy magic. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Lucinda. She gives the worst gifts. So she's what, like a family friend or what's going on? The relative no one wants to put up with. Where's the baby? At her grandmother's. <laughs> Guys, come on. At her grandmother's. Just one person answer at a time, for yeah. real. Oh look, she's back. Dude. Why did you hang her up? You know, that's a weird spot for a baby. What shall we give this child today? Also, just don't give her the baby. Yeah, I mean, if you're worried. Emma a friend. Not a very well-behaved little stinker, is she? Don't touch me, weird lady. Please, I can't concentrate here. I give you the gift of obedience. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, did you just say obedience? Yep. That's not a gift. No, it's really not. Go to sleep. Wake up. Isn't it wonderful? It's terrible. Uh. Oh, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, that's not cool. Take it back. No return policy. They didn't ask. I can always turn her into a squirrel instead. Your obedience is a lovely gift. What is your problem? Is she supposed to be the fairy godmother? I think she's the villain. You should thank me. I've just given you the perfect child. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah. she deserved that. Yeah, he asked for that one. Yeah. Were you going to tell her not to pee? Ella grew up strong of mind. Yeah. Oh. She would. Mm -hmm. Her heart made her kind. If nobody wants you here, I do. Bite me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. We love a feral child. Well, I mean, she asked for the bite. Yeah. I made your favorite. Dig in and stuff your face. I kind of enjoy this mix between like the fantasy and just modern. It's a little like the way Shrek did it, you know? Yeah, I was going to say, it feels like a precursor to Shrek. Almost like a cross between maybe Shrek and the Princess Bride. Hold on, precursor? Did this not come out after Shrek? Did it? I think it's 2004. Oh. Shrek was like 2002, yeah. Oh, like that. Okay, totally miss it then. Well, then I guess they just took Maybe. a page out of their book. I mean, it's not the only fairy tale that has modern elements. That's true. Weaved yeah. in. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Can you take the spell back? Only the fairy who gave you the gift can take it back. It's not fair. Yeah, that's definitely not fair. Yeah, she absolutely sounds like the villain of the story. She never stopped fighting to have things her way. Come practice your mandolin. Also, does she just straight up have two moms? Because I kind of love that. It seems that way, but they could be sisters. Mm. But I'll take my own sweet time doing it. Hurry up now. <laughs> it's like, well, shit. But oh, damn. Please get well, mother. Oh, no. Well, I mean, it is still a Cinderella story. Boo. Only Mandy and I know about the gift. You must never tell anyone else. <laughs> Maybe stop calling it a gift. It's definitely not one. Curse, more accurate. Mm. Look to yourself, Ella. What's inside you is stronger than any spell. 
Cuss. Just saying. Yeah. Is this dad? Yeah, it's dad. Take this and I'll always be with you. What if somebody tells her stop obeying everyone's every command? Don't know. Will her head just explode? Maybe. <laughs> Robot style? Yeah. yeah. Hey, there's our Anne. You're married? She has money, Ella. You'll adore Dame Olga. She'll make a wonderful mother. You're wrong. Mm. Well, a mother like figure. Very wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you'll all be the best of friends. Yep. That's true. That's definitely what's going to happen. Oh my god, the, the taxi. <laughs> yeah, I love this aesthetic. Yeah, it's fun. Is this the right address? There must be some mistake. Hold on, you didn't know where he lived beforehand? You didn't check if he was rich or not? Good God. Seems like that's pretty important to you. These must be your lovely daughters. My precious Hattie and my special Olive. Okay. And you must be Ella. Pleased to meet you. Yes. The house looks delightful. <laughs> that is a healthy response that you want from your stepmom. You yeah, know? of course. You said that you lived in a castle. No, I said uh, a man's home is his castle. <laughs> I'm Ella. Welcome to Frel. Oh, those band posters. <laughs> so good. Hattie's president of the Prince Char fan club. Well, more or less. Char and his uncle are responsible for the segregation of the kingdom. Ooh. He's dreamy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is this hutch meant to be a closet? My clothes need more room than this. We'll have to use yours. What? Do you though? Show it to us. Uh. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, you could see immediately how this obedience thing would be a huge issue. So this fairy godmother is just the worst. <laughs> yeah. It's just ugly, isn't it? <laughs> kind of like you on the inside. Oh, there's no room in here either. Okay, just stealing, sure. Yeah. Don't know why you would want to steal her stuff if you think she's so poor. What's this? I do actually like this. It was my mother's. Can I have it? Uh. Can be your welcome gift to me. Come on, hand it over. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, there it is. You couldn't... Oh, aren't you accommodating? Like, unlatch it? You know, you just ripped it off your neck like nah. that. The second I sell the last of these, I'll be back. I know it's not a great job. He's a watch salesman? I guess so. But... When King Florian was killed, Edgar saw it as an opportunity to exile all non-human creatures. Passionately put, give yourself a pat on the back. That's not your back. That's the shoulder. That's definitely the shoulder. So the magic is lazy as well as sassy. It's definitely lazy. Sir Edgar has done a fantastic job. He has put giants and elves, his laborers and entertainers. Ooh. If it weren't for him, we wouldn't have today's free enterprise system. It's only free because we've enslaved the poor creatures. God damn. Yeah, that's not really free. No, by definition. So we just got a straight up like slavery segregation story going here. Okay. Prince Charles will be the greatest king ever. Really? I wonder if my opponent has based her opinion on the prince's politics or how cute she thinks his butt is. Definitely the second yeah. one. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> Not just his butt. Just admit you're stupid and don't know- I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about. You think someone would sooner or later notice that she yeah. does whatever anyone says. Yeah, you'd think. Hold your tongue, Ella. Oh, no, oh, here she goes. She's realizing it. <laughs> My tongue itches. Because, yeah, obviously someone's going to exploit this, and it's going to be her. Of course. How did no one else figure it out before her, though? Is there a bit thick? Uncle, do I have to go to this mall opening? It's your royal responsibility, Char. Is that snake alive? Yeah, it is. You're the one in charge. Only for a little while longer. Is that Carrie Ells? Don't know. You need to be out there with the people, Char. Princess Bride? Don't recognize him. Shaking hands, kissing babies. Oh, the main guy. Main character. Yeah, the main guy. No, okay, yeah, I think it is him. So the People can learn to trust us. Uh, it definitely is. While you've been away at school, Char, the ogres have become impossible. Even the giants have become treacherous. The effects on that snake are actually pretty good. I was just thinking that, right? Mm. The giants have always been peaceful. The ogres were peaceful too, until they ripped your father to shreds. Did you piss them off? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Mm. That, or he killed him and yeah. framed the ogres. Think in the second one. Mm -hmm. I promised your father I would take care of you and the kingdom. I've kept my promise. Obviously, yes. Yes. I kept my promise to groom you. I mean, take care of you. <laughs> you must keep your promise to the people. Put on a smile. Image is everything. Oh, my God.
All right, guys. Now we're just going to take a quick word to talk about our sponsor for today, Friendspire. I'm the kind of guy who likes to make lots of lists of all the TV shows I've seen, haven't seen, and still want to watch. Mm -hmm. And this pretty much works perfectly for that, for movies as well, and for books and podcasts and stuff. Basically, you find stuff that it recommends to you based on things that you already have rated on the app. When you first sign up, you pick a few genres, you go through and rate some stuff, and it starts giving you recommendations based on your ratings. This guy yeah. already has like the second most ratings of all people on the app or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm closing in on that number one spot. <laughs> you went pretty hard. Yeah. That's great. You already have some lists as well. I do. I've got a few. I got my girlfriend onto it as well and mm. she's already gone ahead and made like nine or ten lists or something. That's the other cool thing about it you can see your friends' profiles on it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like a social media app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can recommend you stuff. You can see what other people think of certain things. Yeah. Even for other channels like IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So Pretty there's like neat. official channels. It's kind of like Instagram, I guess. A little bit, yeah. Specifically for movies and list making and yeah. <laughs> recommendations and ratings and just if you want to find something to watch, you know. Super handy. But also, this is obviously a way for you guys to connect with us on future movie ideas and recommendations. There will be a link to both of our profiles and to the Friends Buyer app. Thank you so much to Friends Buyer for sponsoring this video. Now back to the movie. Thank you. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here in your charming town of Frel. God damn, that's a scepter. Yeah. Okay, so I'm figuring Char is going to be the main love interest. Yeah, you get that impression. Mm -hmm. Prince Charmo. <laughs> Is that like French or something? I guess. Chamon. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> well, at least he's taking notice. Protest hard. Yeah. Let your voices be heard. You worry about embarrassing us. Go home now. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fucking rude. Prince Char, are you a fast runner? No, why? Get it! Oh, wait. Prince Charming. What the fuck is oh, wrong with us? Oh, wow. Yeah, we're stupid. Yeah. How do we not get mm. that? Yeah, because we dumb. Uh, <laughs> oops. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> All right, we'll cut that out. <laughs> mm. oh. I was going to say, Char is a pretty bad name. Yeah, unless it's short for Charizard, in which case that's an awesome name. Charmander. Yeah, yeah, Charmillion. yeah. The Char family. The Char family, yeah. exactly. There you go. Charmant? Sorry uh, about that. Occupational hazard. Allow me. You don't need your chivalry. Go. Cool. Mm. You can curtsy or not. That's your choice. Nothing I can do about it, except to have you beheaded. That seems a bit extreme. That's definitely extreme. Glad you can realize that. Mm. Why don't you steal my land and destroy my livelihood? Wait a second. Come back here. Dude, don't uh, snap your fingers. Yeah, definitely. Don't do the Ooh. finger thing. She's not a dog. You're the first maiden I've met who hasn't swooned at the sight of me. Cool. Then maybe I've done you some good. Yeah. Actually. I have never stolen anyone's land or livelihood. Um, well, not directly. Directly, no, but, you know. I want peace in the kingdom as much as any. So you have a new plan once you take the crown? Well, no. Doesn't have any plans whatsoever. I couldn't reveal it to a subject. Sure, that's the reason. You care more about your fan club. Actually, I've never been comfortable with the whole fan club thing. So that's why I find your obvious disdain for me so refreshing. He's just so down to earth. He just wants a girl that's different, you know? Yeah, this is a familiar story. Mm -hmm. Where's my purse? Back there. Wait right there. I will get it. Uh. Uh. Oh. Yeah. Okay, to be fair, he was trying to be polite then. Yeah. I just don't like the idea of a romance where one person can literally control the other's actions. Yeah. Oh crap, she can't move from the middle of the road. Oh dear. Bro, what, what is this guy's hurry? <laughs> yeah, and also, wouldn't he just be like, you know what? I'm gonna not run straight into her. Nah, he's set on running her down. <laughs> that would stop his trip. <laughs> I mean, even if you don't care about her, the horse is gonna take a minute to recover. <laughs> he was on a trip to take her out. <laughs> that was the point. Your apparent fascination with knocking me to the ground. Well, I'll try and be more considerate next time I'm saving you. What makes you think we'll see each other again? Well, also, the first time, were you really saving her? Yeah, or saving himself. Would she have been affected by the crowd of girls chasing you? No. You are not like other girls. No idea. Oh, yeah, she's not like other girls. Oh, God. Come here! Wasn't a thing yet. Mm hmm At least not an identified thing. Or recognized as much. Yeah. Stop flirting with him. Uh, I mean, she wasn't to begin with, so that works out pretty easily. Yeah. To me, he's going to have at his coronation. Yeah, in the middle of a table with an apple in your mouth. Ha! <laughs> Rough. Go back to the mall with Olive. Oh, oh. Ella, don't bother with her. Ooh. 
Make my one you want. <laughs> um. Are you though? Okay. I've got posters of you. So those first few sentences have made this real weird. Yeah. I used to stand outside your castle and- That's exactly what you're looking for mm. in a partner, a mm. stalker. Mm -hmm. <sighs> huh, cool. Tell Ella I'll be in touch. Yep, run. Yeah, run bro, run. <laughs> I met the prince. You met the prince? Yes, I don't want to talk about it. Is that an escalator? Yes. Oh, that's that is brilliant. an escalator. Hattie. Oh, it's meant. Why do you always do what Hattie tells you to do? <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I Dude. don't. Tell the truth. <laughs> oh, I do. Have you noticed anything strange about Ella? No, not really. She's not that bright. Come on. Mm, yeah. You notice it gets darker at night, then lighter when the sun comes up. That's big. Never mind. <laughs> wow. Yes, it's definitely because of Ella. Mm hmm. You better see me. That's what I mean. Uh huh. Rita, no! Ella! So it's particularly annoying that her best friend has no idea. Yeah. Like seriously, you've known her since you were a child and you've never noticed that she does everything everyone says. Yeah. Oh, I mean, she's noticing. Take that. Yeah, after what, 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> you know she's I mean? slow on the uptake. Give her a break. <laughs> Take that. That potion bottle. Oh my god. That's enough. Are you guys fucking stupid? We need one more thing. Take those. I mean, you could just break their noses. Please don't make me do this. What? They'll tell you to do something terrible afterwards, but at least you'll get back at them. Take them! Yeah, that doesn't seem smart. You, you gotta do something smarter than that. Right. Now this is where the glass slippers come in. Yeah. Like, look at this way. If what you do doesn't take at least the main sister out of the picture, yeah. then don't do it. Yeah. So you're saying murder is the answer? Yes. <laughs> that, that's okay. what I'm saying. Yeah. All right. Not going far enough. I see. I yeah. see. Try our new perfume. Oh. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, this is nice. Um. What is. Okay, oh, okay. Sure. All right, sure. Yep. That's always fun. Yeah. Bravo! I do always enjoy when they do those. Yeah. Freeze! Oh, wow. Hold up. Hang on. This She's... spell is extensive. Okay, and now literally everyone has to know. Yeah. Put your hands together. <laughs> Oh. You're under arrest. He didn't say unfreeze, so why did she drop? Well, she can only do one at a time. Mm. I could die from embarrassment. Promises, promises. Ah. You are a disgrace. Maybe she was put up to it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, no duh. It really wasn't poor Ella's fault at all. Oh, they're gonna pin it on the friend. I'm sure. She was forced to do it. Tell him it was a reader. A Tell me who's to blame. A reader. Oh, so they can combo now. She said who's to blame. You are forbidden ever to see her again. Ella? How dare she come here now? Tell her that you never want to see her again. Tell her you could never be friends with an Aorthia. So I'm kind of annoyed at this aunt, I'm assuming yeah, she is. sure. Because she's not getting involved at all. I know, right? She could just give her the opposite instructions. Yeah, she can't tell anyone to stop abusing her. Yeah. She, can't... she could literally just be around to counter everybody's stupid instructions. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I never want to see you again. Ha oh, ha, very funny. And the fact that this girl hasn't figured out what's up with her. I don't understand. We're best friends. I gotta say, that's bugging me the quite a lot. The fact that she's not figuring out that there's something up, period. Does she look happy about this, dude? Yeah, look at her. Pay attention. I could never be friends with an Aorthian. Just go. That's the thing. It doesn't matter what she says. Look at how she's acting. Oh, no, I know that. It's just fucking horrible that they made her do a racist. Oh, of course. It's totally horrible. This is the worst thing the curse has ever made me do. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually just really annoyed. That best friend is stupid. A little bit. And this aunt, whoever you, she is. You're just enabling the whole thing. She's not helping. I have got to find Lucinda and get her to take back the curse. I'm glad she labeled it correctly, though. Yeah. Tis a curse. Yeah, actually. She's like, auntie, can you tell me to go curb stomp that fairy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should have told you about this years ago. This book is my boyfriend. Pleased to meet you. Oh, she got a boyfriend. Yeah. You're the first introduction I've had in 20 years. Jeez. I've never seen anything like this. I know no one has. Something about the way they've animated his head is um creepy as fuck. Yeah. I don't want them to, because then they might take him away. It was an accident. See, he looks like a head in a box. Yes. I mean, he's a head in a book. I would have left her ages ago, except I love her so much, plus I have no legs. <laughs> yep. I love you too, my little pookie pages. I love you, cuddle buns. Mm. Don't talk like that. Yeah, don't. <laughs> I swear to God. I do not want to think about the logistics of your relationship. Yeah. I want you to take him with you. Can he show me anything about Lucinda? Show me Lucinda. 
Oh, okay. So you oh. just say what you want and open up and there you are. Nice. That's cool. He's an early smartphone. Mm. He can't tell you where a person is. He can just show you pictures. Everything is so huge. Look, she's going to a wedding in Giantville. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. The girls and I need bouquets for our portrait sitting Pixar. The writing this obedience thing into the storyline definitely makes it difficult. Oh, yeah. Provides an interesting challenge. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Loopholes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> As her step family scratch their newly found itches. He works fast. Yeah. Glad to be rid of the witches. He is an exceptional artist. Yeah. Speed painting. Mm. Benny, can you show me a map of the forest, Pim? Of course. Wow. Uh, oh. oh. Very cool. Towards Monster Rock. We can cut half a day off our journey. Google Maps. Yeah. <laughs> What was that? Probably something that wants to eat us. What do you mean us? You're a book. Yeah. Wait a I mean, some people want to eat books, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're doing to that poor elf? Who huh? says she'll think she's so tough? Yes? I'm practiced in the ancient art of origami. Oh. Nice. Paper folding? Damn. Oh, yeah. This is smarter than she thought. Don't let him scare you, sweetheart. Pick his buff. I appreciate she tried the bluff, though. Yeah. The rabbit punch. Neil, front step me out. This chick is nuts. Okay, so this elf dude is gonna become her useful uh, sidekick. Oh, I'm gonna need so much mm. therapy after this. He looks familiar. Oh, are you okay? No, I am not. I think I broke something. Uh, no, just a quick Ooh. slamming of Pim. Yeah, I don't think you broke anything. Uh, I have to be going, but good luck. You can't walk in this wood on your own. How about a bite to eat? I'm on a tight schedule. Oh, message received, miss. I think I'm all that. Oh, God. Hey, bud. It's too like, hey, what are you doing? Can you give you some I'm on a tight schedule. He's just a nice guy. Uh -huh. She's being rude. Sure. I'd love to have dinner with Great. you. I've got a coupon. Oh, okay. Okay. Why are we sneaking around? are forced to sing and dance. No. Oh, yeah, right. They were saying that earlier. Yeah. Visitors! Places, everyone! <laughs> Shit. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit, so they literally have to sing and dance whenever anyone turns up. Anyone human at least. Yeah, that's brutal. Yeah, this is um this is pretty messed up. Very clever way to incorporate the whole musical angle though. Sure. Yeah, I like it from like a story writing perspective, yeah. but I just don't like the actual results. I think they don't either. Yeah. <laughs> what is this anyway? It's a book. Secret diary. I've never seen one of those. <laughs> Why don't you like music? Oh, that's right. Elves are supposed to be so happy and joyful all the time. Are they? I don't want to be an entertainer. I want to be a... What? Nothing. Chiropractor? Please tell me. Loyal? I want to be... Dentist. A lawyer. Hey! <gasps> There you go. Why can't you be a lawyer? Elf. I forgot. They're never gonna let me go to law school. He's not allowed. Although, how did you forget that? I thought you were meant to be all about this. Never gonna stand in front of the judge and say, You're out of order! I object! No, I object! Stop punching my book. Yeah. It's coming from the book! No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not! <laughs> okay. Buddy. Well. I knew it! A talking book. I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Book's out of the bag. Thought I was going crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Crazy for feeling so lonely. That would be irritating. Oh, yes. What's that? Nothing? A letter for Ella? Prince's coronation ball. I think I may have found you another chance at your future husband. Why? Did you like though? How? By pretending one of those girls is Ella? Yeah. He's met all three of them. I know. And he doesn't like them. Edgar's soldiers rounding up elf and singers. Forced to perform at the coronation. Okay, yeah. That suck. Yep. You've got to go to me and petition the prince to go to law school. You've got to stop this. I mean, he's got to stop this. Yeah, does he? The prince will never grant an audience with an elf. He might be different than his uncle. Because he's a hunk. What is he, six foot? Yeah, about. Yeah, I hate the guy already. It's funny, because he didn't seem that tall. Lacking courage as well as height. Count me in. You know, pretty sure. Yeah. Ish. Not my type. I mean, I'm not into guys, but not mine either. Mm. <laughs> Technically, none of them are. Yeah. <laughs> are you sure he knows where he's going? Just because I'm a book doesn't mean I don't have ears. Boys. I mean, doesn't it? I know you can hear, His but... projection face thingy has ears, I guess. Yeah. The rustling always comes before the screaming and the running. So why not just skip the screaming and go straight to the running? It's a good question. Oh, 
Aww. A bunny. The last known case of a bunny attack was never. I think it was Monty Python, actually. Nobody panic. Oi, no more carrots for you. Yeah, <laughs> trust. So now you're going to scream and run? I don't like carrots. How do you feel about rabbits? Yeah, he's a little too scared to do that right now. He might pee himself. How do you like to be eaten? Baked? Shish kebab? Free range. Would it make a difference how you're being cooked if you're already dead? Yeah. I think that there's been a big mistake here. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of plumbers crack. These guys just showing off their dump trucks. <laughs> mm, it'll only hurt for a moment, I promise. <laughs> Okay, well, he's gotten to the screaming. Mm -hmm. Where's the running? I want to help. Humans took everything from us. Into the pot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? no. Aww. Yeah. Forget that. Who are you? Can we just do this? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Keep your mouth shut. Don't move. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Why not kill her first? Why cook them alive? Tastier. Is it though? Apparently. Sure. Couldn't you show a picture of a big ogre heading our way? Yeah, people definitely cook animals while they're still alive. Yeah. Which is fucking messed up. Not cool. Yeah. Let her go! Oh, this is lucky. Yeah, very useful. Right, he's got one hell of a kick to knock over dudes that size. Untie yourself. Are fucking all right. Ow. Damn, my extensive but donk a donk has turned against me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Oh no. Well, okay, if that guy gets up anytime soon, yeah. I'll be very disappointed. He just squished his blueberries. Mm. <laughs> God damn. Okay, Wonder Woman. Sure. <laughs> Can't we just get along? I mean, yeah. Are you one of the monsters who killed my father? Florian was a good man. We lived in peace during his reign. Why would he kill him? That's a good question. Yeah. Funny what happens when you uh, just talk to the people you have a problem with. Yeah. Take your friends and find breakfast elsewhere. We'll pick up something else on the way. You eat maiden an hour later, you're hungry again. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Jesus. Fair. I have things well in hand. Oh, yes, no doubt lulling the ogres into a false sense of security. Who's to say it wouldn't have worked if you hadn't come barging in? You could thank him, actually, though. Yeah. Chivalry yeah. 2, gratitude 0. But also, what's with the attitude, bro? Good question. Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. You're right, I'm sorry. They both got attitude problems. Yes, they do. You're welcome. Although, I don't blame her, because she's yeah. had a lot of shit going on. Yeah. You're bleeding. Just a scratch. <laughs> Tis but a scratch! So I got Monty Python on the brain now. Oh, yes, and of course, she has to bandage him back to health. Yeah. Yeah. So, will I live? I think the odds are in your favor. Probably not. So, uh, <clears throat> where were you headed? Nah. I mean, considering the like- A giant's village for a wedding. The rate of death in yeah. this era. <laughs> yeah. Little infection, you're fucked. Mm. We'll accompany you. Well, that's not necessary. But it makes it so much easier rescuing you if I don't have to commute. <sighs> Okay. Oh. Glad I was here for this interesting development. Who are you talking to, buddy? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> oh. I really appreciate the You're offer. Crazy. But just killed him. Tell him to come with us. Come with us. Yeah. <laughs> totally. She's just like, I'm going to rip your ears off. <laughs> <laughs> so, traveling with an elf. Your boyfriend couldn't make it. No. Really, bro? Smooth. What about you? Your girlfriend doesn't mind being left alone? I don't have a girlfriend. Oh, okay. Oh. Turn that right back on him. I have many. Oh, Jesus. Oh. I'm kidding. Thank God. You shouldn't believe everything you read in medieval teen. Excuse me! That makes sense, yeah. Mm. yeah. Prince Charmant, permission to speak? I was on my way to meet a certain royal summon in order to discuss some career options. Lannan wants to petition the kingdom for the right to become a lawyer. A lawyer? Well, good thing that, you know, she spoke on his behalf, because clearly he couldn't say that himself. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was struggling, let's be real. Yeah, sure. That's not really my area of expertise. Dude, it should be. Mm. <laughs> You're a ruler. Yeah. Well, yeah, knowing how the laws work in your country and thank you how to do things about those laws seems yeah. to be pretty important for a prince. Pretty very important. What? You're about to become king. Yeah. You'll have the power to make a difference in the world and you don't even care. Nope. It's not like I asked to become king. Huh? Thanks to your uncle, there are a lot of people who have no say in the matter. Hello! Surprised that word of the magical freezing girl didn't reach him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Wow. 
they've got to have a better way of controlling these guys than just tiny knights with whips. Yeah. Why are they being treated like slaves? I'm sure my uncle doesn't know about this. No, he knows. He's a buddy. You are exceptionally dense, aren't you? Yeah, like who's telling the knights to do it? Or just ignorant, I guess, and mm. naive. Sheltered. Okay, to be fair, I guess there could be someone else within the court who has some sort of sway. Yeah. But, you know. That ain't it. <laughs> mm. See, I don't mind green screen effects when they're used kind of well like this, where they use a blend of real life and the green screen together. They haven't picked out the moments they're using green screen. Yeah, this one. Oh, because of the giant. Yeah. yeah. They must hate the royal family. They'll respect your courage of showing up here. They don't hold grudges. They're bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. What are you doing here? Good question. I thought maybe this would be a good time to have a, a little heart to heart. Maybe I should just come back when there's been a little less drinking. Yeah, don't back out now. Then welcome. I'm looking for my godmother Lucinda. She was over there earlier. Oh. Of course she was. Yeah. Of course Lucinda's a messy bitch. But I'm pretty sure Lucinda is the fairy godmother based on that <laughs> sentence. Why though? I know. Who named her godmother? Yeah. Is Lucinda Periweather here? She left about an hour ago. Show me Lucinda. She's getting an FWI. <laughs> yeah. Flying while intoxicated. Yep. Oh jeez. She really is a messy bitch. Apparently. Oh, go hard, mate. Oh my mate. goodness. Do that's, it, son. That's the dream. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Lord almighty. Yeah. And that's the nightmare. <laughs> yeah. So what, do they have giant chickens as well? I guess so. First thing after my coronation, I'll help you buy your farms back. That's a fine young man you have here. Oh, he's not fine. I mean mine. He he is fine. Yeah. You can stop now. My godmother's on some kind of fender. Giants are surprisingly cool. Why are you surprised? I would imagine be pretty pissed after the whole enslavement thing. Yeah. A little more hostile. <laughs> that's fair. You have to stay for the party. Okay, I'll stay. I don't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. Thank you, Char. I'm pretty sure that's the first time she's had that in a while. Wow, yeah. The bar is really that low. Yeah. But I wish you would stay. Oh, she has a choice this time. Yeah. I guess one more night wouldn't hurt. So basically, this is just like, oh my god, a guy is asking me instead of telling me? Yeah. Whoa! Holy crap! <laughs> You're looking for your godmother, Lucinda? I need to find her as soon as possible because I miss her. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Did you ever think of trying the Hall of Records? It's not open to everyone, but I, I could probably pull a few strings. Yeah, so if it's not open to everyone, then why would she have thought of it before? Yeah, exactly. I can't tell you what that would mean to me. They want me to sing. I don't sing. Uh, there's our little entertainer. Ah. Uh, okay. Mr. Koopaduck, Slannon doesn't sing. Also, Giants, if you don't like being forced into slavery, why do you think they would? I know, right? Well, how about you then, huh? Oh, no, I could. Sing! <laughs> mm. Oh, crap. Okay, here we are. Oh, Queen, sick. Oh. Somebody to... Uh... Ah, that song's a banger. Mm. Shame we're going to have to cut most of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I get up, I die a Is this actually Anne Hathaway singing? I think so. M, all right. I have spent all my years... I mean, I could be wrong, but it sounds yeah. like her to me. It sounds like her voice, yeah. Get no relief, no can anybody find me. Oh my oh, god. Okay. No feel, I got no rhythm. I'm okay, I'm alright. Somebody made this entire movie just around the idea of could we get Anne Hathaway to sing Queen? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody to love. Yeah, nice. Give it a little more soul. Oh, and this is where the prince is just straight up gonna fall in love with her. Probably. <laughs> So they all can hear her tiny voice. Yeah. Magical amplification, I guess. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, if they were all the same size, I could believe it to a degree. Oh, yeah. A really good singer can be heard over a crowd, but she's tiny. Maybe giants have great hearing because their ears are so big. Maybe. Ooh. Ooh. Somebody to love. Seriously, though, <laughs> we are definitely going to have to cut so much oh, of yeah. this. <laughs> <laughs> we're not making this any better by singing along to it. I know. <laughs> oh, whoa, what? <laughs> Well, I guess you found somebody to love then. Ah. Cool. I mean, as soon as he gets over all the internalized bullshit. Mm. 
Oh goodness. Um. <laughs> okay, she's uh, she doesn't mind shorter guys. <laughs> she's into some freaky shit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hagrid's dad's got nothing on this. <laughs> <laughs> You know, when they say climb those mountains, I'm pretty sure that was metaphorical. Yeah. <laughs> but go hard, son. Yeah, man. You do you. Yeah. Or her. Do her. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> I love singers. He's a lawyer, though. Yeah. Or a wannabe lawyer. Man, he could be a singer tonight. <laughs> You're much prettier than I would have expected. Huh? Giants are supposed to be ugly and mean, stinking grim brothers. Have you simply <laughs> just never, like, met a giant before? I guess so. Or met giants, plural, I yeah, should say. I guess that's part of the whole segregation thing. Mm. Patty would die if she knew I was here. The president of your fan club. Yes, you mm. met her. He's familiar. Ran away real quick. Really wishes he wasn't. <laughs> mm. I wish I had brothers and sisters. My mother passed away before she had any more children. My mother passed away too. Yay, trauma bonding. Good times. You know, she used to sing me to sleep every night. My father used to sing to me. Very off key, but at least he tried. It's the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. I have Edgar, I guess. He, he risked his life to save my father. Did he though? Yeah. I'm sure when I tell him about the giants, he will correct the situation. I like that they're getting into the complexities of having a family member or loved one who is Really not okay? Yeah. <laughs> or you could. Look at the way you smooth things over with Koopa Duck. You're a natural at this. Wow, is that almost a compliment? Yes, that yeah. was almost a compliment. Take it or leave it, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna go to my uncle to repeal the elfin restrictions. Alright, he's a little confused. But he got the spirit. Are you gonna- I think you're gonna be a great king someday. No, okay. Your father would have been proud. The tiniest iota of wokeness, and she's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, just take me now. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would have really liked you. Yeah, most people do. Bro, it's Anne Hathaway. Mm. Who the fuck doesn't? Kiss me. Oh no! He doesn't know, and she oh. seems fine. It sucks. It's still just- I, I really hate that this is- That that wasn't an order, you know? Okay. okay. I mean, he- look, Oh my goodness. To be clear, never once did I think he was making that an order. No, no, no. Neither just, did I. Unfortunately, just because of her, the way yeah. it was phrased. Yeah, the yeah. Film, I see what you're saying. Just from the filmmaker's perspective, I'm yeah. like, Oh god, why did you put that in there? I'm glad that they walked yeah. back from it. I know. Okay. Yeah, see, she can tell because she wasn't forced. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not kind of an awkward position to be kissing in, though? They're making it work. Yeah, I know. Doesn't make it less awkward. Yeah. Or uncomfortable, I should no, say. You know what your first kiss with a crush is like? You just suck it up and pretend everything's fine. I don't share that experience. Right, you didn't have to make out with someone who was a head taller than you. You're right, I didn't. <laughs> I was on my toes the whole time. <laughs> I want to look 25. What do you suggest? A time machine? Well, yeah. Yeah. That, he says. And oxen blood. That ox. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Although I do caution you, some people have a temporarily bad reaction. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. What are you doing here? I'm in town on business and heard you were here. I, is Ella here? Nah. She's, um, with Hattie and Olive, taking a tour of the castle. Most definitely. I mean, she's right. She just don't realize it. Yeah, that's actually probably true, eh? She's not with Hattie and Olive, though. No. Uh. Half right. Prince Char walked on this actual floor! Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, yeah. Stop tonguing the foyer. Yeah, yeah, definitely don't tongue it. But yeah, the best way to lie, half-truth. Mm. Don't take that as advice. Don't be lying. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you said it, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. A snake. The most noble and innocent of creatures. Hey, that's why I have one. True. <laughs> oh, for the record, I love snakes. Don't want anyone to get upset about that. Fair. No L's unless they're performing. Discrimination. <laughs> Yep, that is discrimination, but I don't think it's against the law right now. That was now. absolutely the point. Yeah. These portraits were recently commissioned. Run. 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 They're looking all over for you. And who might this charming young lady be? Uh, Ella, this is my Uncle Edgar, and uh, this is his Heston. Hey. Mm. You could say his snake. I mean... That would denote ownership? We had a little run in with some ogres. He's a sentient creature. Oh, I mean, they're totally fine with slavery, so, you know. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. Mm. Or what you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been killed. Oh, well. Grin and bat it. Oh, God. Uh, she's doing that. The uh, crown maker needs to see you in your chambers for a fitting. I just have to take Ella to the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hall of Records. <laughs> yes. Hop to it then. No. Oh. Both of you. <laughs> 
Yeah, see, unfortunately, Edgar is very used to giving commands. Yep. So I wouldn't be surprised if he figured this one out real quick. Very odd. Mm. No, the snake passed it along. Afraid she's been filling our prince's head. I don't think he did. Yeah, because he was with them. He was yeah, the I know bands. he was with them. He hasn't. He, oh, he not totally know. figured it out, yeah. though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're getting there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. I mean, look at the size of that thing. Yeah. Lucinda, I hope you're in here. That is an insane book. Ella has lots of interesting opinions about the kingdom, Uncle. You should hear them. I can't wait. He's not a big fan of hearing. You He's know? like so obviously evil. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I love them. <laughs> the only negotiations between me and the giants will be over our vegetable deliveries. Good one, sire. This isn't uh -huh. a joke, Uncle Edgar. Yeah, that definitely wasn't a joke either. I mean, yeah. no, I guess he was joking, but it was terrible. I mean, he is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll talk about it after your coronation. Yes? Fine. Then again, people like jokes. But we will talk. Yeah. Yeah, calling someone a joke isn't as much of an insult as you want it to be. Yeah. I'm going to ask her to marry me. Wow, that was quick. That was very quick. Ella of Frell? At the same time and in the same place as my father proposed to my mother. Given the life expectancy. Yeah, well, yeah, you know what? He's only got another 10 years with her tops. Dude, he's middle-aged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> what now? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was planning to kill him, and now he's just figuring I can kill two birds with one stone. Ella of Frell is your sister. This one hell of a chair. Yeah. God damn. What do you know about her? What's in it for me? This guy makes flexing an art form. How about your eyeballs remain inside your head? That's a pretty good deal. You should take yeah, it. Yeah, dude. Sounds like a bargain. <laughs> we like these girls. They're our friends. Uh, mm -hmm. But sire, you don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> Still sacked out. Done fly in retirement community for fairies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the puns in this are pretty solid. Yep. I uh, might even be willing to throw Prince Char into the deal. How? <laughs> Like. You'll need to take a queen, his hand in marriage, for the eldest daughter, of course. I guess they're not smart enough to figure it out, and he doesn't care, because he's like, you guys get married, and then you both die. Everybody wins. Yeah. <laughs> Ella does everything she's told. She can't help it. Uh, you don't want to tell people that. She does. Oh, yeah, she does. Betty, we got her. Hello, Ella. Oh, no. Hope you found everything to your satisfaction. What are you going to tell her to do? Something not great. How clumsy of me. Pick it up. <laughs> Very good. A silly part of my brain. Imagine him just going, oh, how clumsy of me. Oh. <laughs> Touch your toe. Oh. Pat your head and rub your tummy at the same time. Okay, so she can do two. Jump up and down. Commands at once, or several, in fact. Put your left foot in. This is bullcrap. Stupid, inconsistent curse. Yeah. And shake it all about. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Oh, okay. We're gonna dance. Hate to be a party pooper, but evil plans, remember? Okay, stop. Okay, this probably would have been really fun to film, though. Mm. <laughs> As you know, tonight is the coronation ball. You know what? I disagree. <laughs> if it was me, I wouldn't have been having fun with that. Prince Char will sweep you away just before midnight. He will ask you a question. Ah, oh, spoiler. The stroke of midnight, you will take this dagger and kill him. Ooh. No, no, I won't. Ooh. Oh, damn. Yeah. Yes, you will. Because I order you to. He didn't say don't warn him. Yeah, he didn't say that's true. It's lucky you're here, so I won't have to do it myself. Yeah. Yeah. Kill your own nephew? Well, yeah, he wants power. But why not? Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. Killed my own brother. Yeah, see, obviously. Why? I want to be king. That's Shocker. Just not a surprise at all. No. <laughs> yeah. Now go. She's just like, uh, you know what? This is all adding up. There's one more thing. You will tell no one of this plan. Okay. Smart enough to cover his bases. Yeah. I didn't really think he was going to be stupid, mm. you know? And then, of course, he's going to be defeated in some stupid way, but whatever. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm looking for Lucinda Perryweather. Sorry, Tit. She was kicked out. If I don't find her by tonight, something terrible is going to happen. She doesn't care. Finding her would be something terrible. She's not wrong. Yeah, she does seem pretty terrible. That's true. Mm -hmm. Actually the worst. Mm. Dear Char. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. We can't be together. Uh, I can't tell you why. Mm, and the way to get around it. It's one way. I wish you the best. I really do believe you're going to be a great king. Well, if he survives long enough. Yeah, I know. Just because you're not going to do it doesn't mean someone else won't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Edgar seriously just said, I want you to do it so I don't have to. But yeah. if she doesn't do it, he just 
fucking do it himself. Yeah, we'll make somebody else do it. Get Hester, yeah. Heston, the sure. snake. Lannan, what are you doing? Petting a goat. Yeah. There's something I need you to do for me. Hanging out with my friend here. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, that's something. You are one freaky chick. <laughs> Keep Char away from Edgar. What's going on? I can't tell you. But if you don't, you might be stuck singing Kumbaya the rest of your life. There you go. Into the forest of certain death walks Slamet. At least she's learned how to talk her way around things. Yeah. Thank you. Whatever. Is you'd have to figure it out eventually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Empty without someone asking it a question, I'm guessing. Oh. Mm. Poor bastard. Didn't want to reveal himself no. to the librarian. Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, she could have been helpful, but she could have also been terrible, so. Mm -hmm. Where's your friend? Yes. Scepter is so ridiculous. I know, right? <laughs> Um, yeah, what's happening to the- tr oh. Oh, she's pulling. Wow. The magic is strong enough for her to fucking pull the tree. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, it turned her into the Flash just before. That's true. <laughs> it did. Would you stop that? You are stealing from me now. Yeah, sure. This is my future home, isn't it? Like how they always gotta have like one conniving one and one dumbass one. Yeah. Would you care to dance? Are you kidding? Jesus, that ring. Mm-hmm. You wanted to look younger. <laughs> oh, God. That's some intense Botox. Batox, I'm sorry. Batox. Yeah. <laughs> kind of sounds like buttocks. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Is this her? Oh, you finally fucking turning up. Freaking deadbeat. <laughs> Drunk, obviously. Yeah. This isn't the salad bar at Brelly's. Lucinda! Wow, that's a really, really lucky coincidence. Yeah, also- Lucinda! Ah! I mean, I know you're excited you finally found her, but don't be that excited. She's kind of terrible. Yeah. Do I know you, child? Ella, Frelly- Oh, yes! I need you to take the gift back. Stop calling it gift. that. Gift. Yeah. I don't think yeah. so. Woman, you've ruined her life. Yeah. Well, it's not that I'm not grateful for the gift I am. Oh, you know? Yeah. She just gotta be nice. Suck it up, right? Because of the gift, I'm about to do something. Something horrible. Everybody loves my gifts. For real? Just- I am begging you, take it back. Oh, she can't tell her that she's gonna kill him. Yeah. Get rid of it yourself. Don't blame me for your problems. Are you serious? What? Did I chain your butt up to this tree? You cursed her with this shit when she was a baby. Dude. She can 100% blame you for her problems. Yeah. Just to prove what a gem I am, I'll unchain you. What? No! Woman, you have not been listening to her at all. A pretty girl like you should be at the ball. No, I can't go! Not dressed like that. I hate this character so much. I hate so her so much. much. Yeah. Like, if you're going to completely ignore the way everyone's behaving around you. Uh. Give, give, give. You're welcome. She didn't say that she wanted any of that. Tell me about your sister. Olive, idiot. Uh, Ella. Wait. So I've been trying to figure out who the actress playing Hattie is like all movie. Yeah, she looks familiar. I swear she was in Bad Teacher. She's the redhead. <gasps> right? She is. Am I right? She's the other teacher. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just couldn't figure oh it out because she's blonde and younger. God. Yeah. I just want to talk about us. Us. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. God damn. He's got his priorities straight. Uh, still, even if she's kind of rude and a bit of a dick or whatever, don't drop her on the ground. <laughs> After what she did to Ella? Does no. he know that, though? Mm. I don't care. <laughs> Please tell me. Tell me you never want to see me again. I will if you tell me that you don't love me. It's not that. Then why did you write me that letter? Bruh. Tell me how you really feel. Please, get smarter. Oh, okay. I love you. Yeah. Okay, cool. I am wrong for the kingdom. Is that what this is about? Come with me. <laughs> Just say to him, tell me not to follow your uncle's orders. Mm, well, she can't do that. Mm, she didn't say don't. Maybe he said don't tell anything. Uh, mm. Maybe she can. <laughs> Maybe. That's a tough one. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Okay. It's a hall of mirrors. Yeah. That's why his dad proposed to his mom. Right. Which is very sweet. My father brought me in here. It's kind of creepy. Yes. Uh, probably should have cleaned it up first. Told me to look in the mirror and see myself as a great leader. Somehow I never could. And then you come along. Hello, what's wrong? <laughs> yeah, these mirrors aren't very good. Yeah. I wish I could tell you everything. These last few days have been so perfect. Except for the bit where we almost got eaten by ogres. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. That could have been uh, messy. And I had to dance with Hattie. <laughs> yeah, of all the things, Ella. And when we're together, it's, it's like magic. I never wanted to win. I know. That's why I brought you here. Please listen to me. Uh, yeah, he's making sure. Of course this guy has a one-way mirror. Absolutely. Creep. This is a big step. 
I like uh, how competent he is as a villain, though. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Frel. Will you marry me? Yeah, his villainous plans are going quite well. I know, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. No, no, no. I don't understand. At least she's being real slow about it. Yeah. No one ever said that you had to hide. Like, hide the knife. Yeah, true. What's important is what's in our heart. Just make the knife really obvious and then make it really obvious that you're trying to stop yourself. Yeah. I do love you, Char. <laughs> oh, man. You're really making it easy for her. Yeah. Take the... Oh, is she gonna overcome it with the power of love? Maybe. Take this I kind of wish she'd come up with an actual solution. Yeah. But, you know... I mean, it is a callback to the beginning of the movie, so it's not like they didn't set it up. You will no longer be obedient! Oh, she told herself. Oh, in the mirror. Interesting. Okay. That's something. I'm free. Yeah. Leave it. I see. I'm free. Okay. Trying to kill me? Well... No! Stop. Take her away! I can explain! I mean, I like that he's kind of more just in shock. Yeah, he is in shock. And I his, give you his that. his uncle is kind of taking the lead on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, I like that. They mm. did go with the rules that they had set up. That was clever, I like that. Yeah. She'll have to be put to death immediately. I just don't understand. Yeah, you're not very smart, man. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you don't. Your uncle didn't want to frighten you. Those ogres were after you. She was just toying with your emotions, Char. No, see, the problem is that your uncle never never has any proof of what he's saying. Right. You know? I just don't believe it. Yes, it does seem quite fantastic. Oh man, you're pretty enough and you're dumb enough, but you are nowhere near swole enough to qualify for himbo material. <laughs> you just concentrate on tomorrow's coronation. You just look pretty. <laughs> we must find a way to get rid of the prince. I think I have a good idea how to do it. Okay. He plays it so well. Oh yeah, Carrie Owls is great. He was the right pick for this kind of satirical role. Yeah, 100%. We just have to find a way to get past those guys. Please, somebody get me out of here! Man, how did they smuggle them in? No idea. Ugh. Ella's in trouble. Something to do with Edgar. We have to find her. Show me Ella. Very handy. Gotta appreciate this book. Yeah. Gotta go in there and stop her. It'll take bravery. <laughs> how did they sneak in? Don't know. But it's Edgar you're after. Count us in. I was gonna yeah. say. When I saw them earlier, I was like, these guys are gonna help later, aren't oh, they? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Executioner coming through. Nice shoes. Yep. He's got them Hot Topic socks. Damn. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Jesus Christ. That would be very uncomfortable. Yes. Getting to know each other now. Mm. I'm Miss Fell's legal representation. Open this door before I sue you. Now move it! H hang on, hang on. The laws haven't changed yet, though. He can't sue anyone for anything. I guess he didn't see that he was an elf. Drawn into a legal battle. Challenge to the prince. That's pretty fucking stupid. Draw the sword of justice. Oh, oh God, buddy. What is going on here? Can we at least take him to go? Oh. <laughs> Put the nice man down. He's like, I'm hungry though. He's just having a little bit of it, Alfredo. <laughs> that's all. Slide! You okay? Fine, but Char might not be. That's Char's crown. He's poisoned it. <laughs> <laughs> Mustache twirl. A poisoned crown. Yeah, that's pretty golden. That was hilarious. You are here to witness the crowning of a king. Yeah, so far, this is possibly one of my favorite Cinderella adaptations just because of how much more they put into it. Yeah, I feel like they put a lot of detail into this. Yeah. Yeah. Bring in the crown. Hey, what's that green smoke hanging about it? Oh, don't worry about it, man. <laughs> Yeah, it is still smoking green. <laughs> okay, I said that as a joke. I but. know. <laughs> Have a total Shrek moment. I object. I object. Yeah, there, there you go. Drop that crown. Hey. Seize them. <laughs> yeah, panic and skirmish. Panic and skirmish. <laughs> oh, damn. All right. Pay that time. Kick him. Yeah. Kick him good. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, 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 damn. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, it's like the SWAT team. Kill them and anyone who gets in your way. So everyone? Holy crap. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nah, Wait. not having any of this shit. Can't believe I'm saving you after you tried to kill me. I didn't try to kill you. <laughs> She could kill you right now if that was really her plan. Yeah. And she's not doing it. So that dagger you're about to punch into my back was just an early wedding present? He's just upset. <laughs> I know. He's just taking his time to get his brains together. Just a little hurt over the whole thing, really. Help! Fairies and kingdoms across the land. Please help me 
we turn Benny back into a man. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, so she's just crap at magic. Yeah, I'm really glad that he didn't um, splatter on contact with yeah. the ground there. Still, though, you could have had a crack at that this whole time. Yeah, she was being selfish. Bro, very suck. Yeah. Then Edgar found out about the curse. But she's the good one. Yeah. And the only way that I could think to stop it was to break up with you. I love how they're just talking about this now. Yeah. The best thing that's ever happened. They've got shit to figure out. Brown is about to put on your head. It's poison. Dog. Whoa. He's surprisingly competent. Well, I mean, princes do get trained. Yeah. <laughs> Or oh, did. God damn. <laughs> she never got the training, though. Oh, she's just good. Char, there's one more thing. He killed your father. What? Could have said that earlier. That can't be true. But, you know, whatever. Hmm. Well, of course it's not true. Who are you going to believe? Lying little twit? Or the man who raised you? <laughs> he just never seems genuine ever. Yeah. I know, right? Oh! <laughs> Yes, just throw the snake at other people. He tried to kill Char! Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. I guess that answers that. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah. You vile little girl. Yeah, probably shouldn't have tried to do it in front of everybody. Yeah. I should have disposed of you when I had the chance. Probably. Mm, yeah. It's too late now. You killed my father, your own brother. How could you? Money. Power. <laughs> Seriously. Look at his mustache. <laughs> he was in my way. I got rid of him. There's nothing he isn't capable of, this monster. He wasn't fit to wear this crown. This crown is mine. Hey, hold up. This kingdom is... Uh, buddy, my guy. Oops. You were... Uh, yeah. He was such a competent villain right up until this point. Yeah, he was actually really good. Yeah. Right up until then. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. I'm just not stoked about it. It's funny, at least. Yeah, was, <laughs> but did we laugh? Yeah. You know. Save my life. Then we're even. That's true. Ella, stop kissing him! Never kiss him again. Do it. Yeah, see, shit's done though. Yeah. You wanna bet? Yoink. Yeah. For real though, you're gonna have to replace the latch, right? People always do that with necklaces, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just broke that shit. And then they put it on right uh, afterwards. I know. Marry me. Yeah, oh, that'll do. There you go. Sure. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Seamless transition. Very good. You know, I didn't mind him throughout this. No, no, he actually wasn't that bad. He was all right, yeah. Pretty good example of, like, well-meaning privilege. Yeah. To a nation of equals. To my good friends. Ah, oh, they brought her back. Yeah. I mean, a bit late. I would have liked to have seen a little more of her. I, I agree, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, but they were still invited. Yeah, that's because she's a class act and she wanted to rub it in their faces. <laughs> sure. Such is the story of Ella of Frel. <laughs> Follow your heart and end with the song. And this guy too. Yeah, I don't think I do. He sounds familiar, but he could just be some British he guy. He could just be British. <laughs> <laughs> Shrekness is really here. <laughs> right? Oh, damn, she got that tearaway dress. Mm, gotta love it. But yeah, I wonder if either one was inspired by the other. Probably. Yeah. Oh, you know, I know this song, but I don't know who did it. Me either. It's just one of those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Naturally. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. I love it. Oh, he's alive. Oh, okay. He's just somewhat brain dead. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Mm, good for him. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. The snake, though, he's fucking dead. Oh, yeah. Ripped apart. Someone wanted to eat him, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Naturally. Yeah. That would have been a much nicer moment if we just got more from her. Right? You know? But I mean, that's a relatively small complaint. Yeah, that's a, that's a small gripe. Yeah. Overall, this was really good. Yeah, I really enjoyed mm. it. Back to the real world, or I've only two words left. The end. Yeah, nice. Cool. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was heaps of fun. I can definitely see why people would have this as one of the better Cinderella adaptations. Oh, 100%, yeah. Obviously, it's not a direct adaptation, but, you know, how many of those can we have? Yeah, for sure. You but know. I'd appreciate that they tried something different with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really tried to put their own spin, put their own little gimmick into it, hmm. and, yeah, just use the Cinderella thing as kind of framework. Absolutely. It's just a structure to work around. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Characters were great. I like what they were trying to do with the race 
like it's a narrative. It's always a little bit sketchy when you're mm. using like non-human characters yeah. Yeah, to get yeah. that across. But I mean, this came out a while ago, so I'm going to give it a pass on that. They tried, you know. This was groundbreaking and like daring yeah. and for the time, you know. Yeah. It was just a fun movie. I just enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, this was a really good watch. Yeah, I mean, obviously there were like little nitpicks, but none of those are like big enough that I would have an issue with it after the fact. Except maybe the fairy godmother. Yeah. Goddamn. Yeah. Goddamn. So fucking unlikable. That was a tough one. Not necessarily angry at the character. No, just the just writing of the that. the writing of the characters. Yeah. Why, guys? Yeah. Why did you do this? <laughs> yeah, we, we could have done without that one. But I mean, I guess they... No, I got nothing. Oh, you got nothing. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. If they had made her a villain, it would have made more sense, but she wasn't. Yeah. They could have just made it that she made a mistake in the early one and then maybe she died or whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We didn't really, she didn't even need to come back into the story. Could have been an accident. Yeah. She yeah. really just was not needed. Yeah. It's unfortunate. <laughs> whatever. Is what it is though. You know what? Still good. Yeah. Until next time though, you've been with Sam, Steph, and we're, we're the, the Movie, movie Buds. Buds.